Dave Rubin calling you a c Other dudes are banging his wife. This issue between ContraPoints and their significant other. I'm not, you're, you're so- Was it Jordan Peterson said to Ethan Klein not to appease the people on the far left, because no matter what you do, they'll hold you to a higher and higher standard, and eventually you won't be able to reach it. yourself, yes. Do you think that that was a very inspiring, honest thing that he said, or do you disagree with that statement? That, like, communist whatever bullshit came, and Hassan was lifted with it. As it recedes, Hassan will kind of fall with it. And he has got a leak about him eventually. With whatever happened with Twitch, they can't hold it back forever, can they? I've had like four different people come to me with that one story that I told you like three years ago. So mm -hmm. I feel like more people know, but I don't know. Do you want to say what that story is? What's supposed to cover here? What is the most possibly inflammatory topic that we can discuss right now? Child safety. <laughs> Not, Do you think okay, that homeowners take, should take, be responsible take, if, take that if from other 11 children are running in the backyard nine. and fall into their pool and die, Dan? Take that from 11 down to like a nine. Okay? Oh, the age? A eight, a seven and a half or an eight or something. Okay, we've gone too How far. How young I, do you want him? Oh my God. Wait, that what is, are you talking about right that now? That is not what I meant. I was talking about the total volume of this conversation of how how uh, excited it was getting. That is too much. Listen, just how about... Um, okay, all right, hold on. How are you doing? Let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah, oh, we're moving. Oh, you got a topic list prepared for us today. I do, I do. There is a video here of Dave Rubin... <laughs> Calling you a cuck. Wow. And at this moment in my life, it feels like I'd like to hear that. What do you what do you what do you think about that? Do you pull think, it up? Let, Go let, ahead. Pull pull it up, H3H3, H3, Dan. You got it, buddy. Wait, why wouldn't right. you call him Jamie? Why are you using H3H3 H3 as the model instead of Joe Rogan? Uh what who was the person on? You'd, you pull, you'd say pull it up Jamie. Pull it up, Jamie. Not Dan. You're Not so Dan. narcissistic. You know there are people with other names that aren't Dan, right? Yeah, but it's a really good name. You know, it's biblical also, right? Biblical? Yes. Barely. Okay. All right, let's let's full screen this. All right. Full screen this is what I meant to say. Full screen engage. Yes. <clears throat> On the left, trust the police. Do to we? some extent, do we? If somebody's breaking That's into your house, who do you call? Them. I'm not. I'm not a defunder, but if somebody's breaking into your house, you can be the most defund person in the world. Who are you going to call? Are you going to call your neighbor? Are you going to call Joe Biden? Are you going to ca call Obama? Are you going to call the Black Panthers? You're going to call the okay, cops. Okay, so so tell me this, man. I mean, leftism it just collapsed so easily when you get the slightest pushback. So suddenly you have a lefty telling you that the police are good. And then it's like, oh, at the, uh, it's just, it's so, it's so short. But again, I don't need to crap on this guy because apparently uh, other dudes are banging his wife and uh, you can see the thinness of all of it, right? It's like, well, you have denim, the denim is gonna leak into your jeans. It's like, we all make calculated choices to trust in certain things. That That is absolutely fine when you do. You go to Starbucks and you assume that they are not poisoning your coffee, right? And over time, they build more trust as they don't poison you. Um, but that is not that is not directly connected to when people want to use force to force you to do things. And that will get us to the rest of the show. I like his coffee mug. What do you think about that? Why don't you have one of those? Good question. Is it just that you have like no effort to put into this or I'm pretty what? sure I have coffee mugs. I just don't drink coffee. You could put like other things. You could put Soylent in it. I'll think about it. Do you think it's weird that a conservative that takes it up the ass is making fun of me for my sexual decisions? Well... Um, I'm just curious. You know, I would say that you're assuming a lot there because oh, you don't know no, he what definitely gets f in the ass. You don't know that. I actually. absolutely know that. You don't this know that. Guy, no. I've never seen more bottom energy in my entire fucking life. I don't know. He looks he looks pretty in control in the situation, and he's you know he's called. Yeah, you does up. he look in control with a giant fucking microphone at, pack in the back of his cheap fucking blazer? Yeah, he's super in control right now. Absolutely. Go on the left, trust the police. Do to we? some extent, do we? If somebody's breaking That's it, right. Jamie, we already watched that. Um, well, I think that's very inconsiderate of you to say of him. We don't know that that's fact. However, oh my God, there's a there's a bloodbath going on here. What happened? What did they do? Oh, that's fine. That's okay. All right. Well, I'm trying to set up a debate with him. I wanted to save that line, and I've wasted on this fucking show. This is a really good show. That show is not going to be good because you guys are just going to be fucking screaming yeah, at each other. He won't. He's not a screamer. I can tell. You can tell you've been with all. I can just tell by looking at him. He's not you a could, screamer. So, tell me what are the what are the signs of a screamer? Um, masculinity, mm -hmm. confidence, oh. uh, assertiveness, ah. uh, timbre and voice, 
conviction and ideas. So you're basically strong describing me, but character. I don't scream. All this is not that true. Dave Rubin lacks. He's the kind of guy who'd be like, I, I, I don't want to deal with this. And he would get up and leave. Uh, listen, I feel like a debate between the two of you guys would be interesting. Well, value, somebody's trying to set it up. Really? Yeah. Who's the somebody? I almost said it some, but I'm not going to. You're not going to. Okay. We've tried to set it up in the past and he said he didn't want to because well, he you just called you a aggressive. Cuck. I mean, it doesn't feel like he's probably very interested in talking to you. But then again, you know, why don't you call him a name back? I just did. We'll call him like something cooler. Remember, we're coming up with cool insults. Did you come up with any? That was your homework assignment from last time. A better word. Like a few crayons short of a lunchbox. But I don't I don't know. That doesn't work exact exactly. This guy is Three rectangles short of a full Hershey's bar. <laughs> <laughs> Calling me a cuck. Okay. Um, that's pretty, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. I'll take it. Is there certain people you just know you're not going to debate as a result? You're just like too toxic. I don't know. You don't know. You don't think there's anyone who's just like too pure to ever be in the same room as you. Who's, who's, who do you think of when you think of a pure? But there are people I wouldn't want to talk to anyway. Like I'm sure there are people that, like I'm probably never going to talk to Name it a live version of Mr. Rogers or something, right? Like, why not? You wouldn't want to talk to Mr. Rogers if you would? I would, but I don't think we would ever cross paths in that way or whatever. But he wouldn't talk to you, of course. You would be probably not. It was like children's TV shows. Someone would send him like one of your old posts and be like, Whoa, yeah, that I'm no, why? What are you doing? Absolutely not. Also, he's dead. He is dead. There was I should add him my blacklist. <laughs> You, you know what? You should just add him to your blacklist now and just never explain it why. True. Since you have dead people on there anyways. I still think you should take off the dead guy. Kim. Gonzalo. I'm not even going to risk it. What if he's not actually dead and then a report comes out that he, and then I have to add him to the blacklist because he's alive? Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't think that's very likely to happen. I mean, I suppose it's possible. That would be the long con. You never know. Probably not. Um, listen, something that's not on August's list I'm gonna f I didn't say anything. Just I shut even the my asses. You, I'm know not this, fun of you. you know this cuts both ways. Okay. I don't know why you say anything. Every time you misspeak, I'm going to say my S's in the front of my mouth so that you can feel better about any problems that you might have with your speech. Okay? I don't have any problems with my speech. What did August want to show us, Dan? You know you're a bad person. I'm not a bad person. You. <laughs> I'm trying to talk about real, serious, hard hitting. Don't. That was a good, serious. Serious. Yeah, you're good. You got it. Just what are we watching? What are we supposed to see? Listen. Apparently, okay. Apparently, this is breaking news. That they have now found out. You remember that shit that your people did down in Cuba to our innocent embassy people, the Cubans? They were like mind raying them or something like that. You know what I'm talking about? No, nope, but I'm sure I'll catch on. Go ahead. Okay. Some period of time. Just uh, tell the story I, they're going to tell i listen it's not a story i you need to understand because you're uninformed about politics and i understand that you didn't even know where israel was on a map a year ago so that's that's fine okay listen okay so a dave rubin debate is in the cards what is your main contention with this guy because he's the he's the like the what the token gay conservative would you he's say not the token he's not a token anymore he's, he's not like a, token. a like a quarter like you'd put him in a quarter slot Okay. What's August got for us next? What's August got for us next? Let me, let me pull it up. Okay. Cause this is gonna be very, I'm sure this is gonna be very topical. Oh boy. Let's go. Let's, let's like truly make sure that I'm in this for the long haul. So what do you know about this issue between ContraPoints and their significant other? I'm not, you're, you're so far behind on this. I'm not even ready to break this down. You, you can't, you have no comment on it because you're so racist and transphobic. It's, there's probably an element of truth to a schizo post that appeared a long time ago, and now okay. people are getting more and yeah. Into what, was the, what was the schizo post? What did it go over? You really want me to break this down? I do, because I, I don't know what's happening. I'm okay, like, do you know I'd what like ContraPoints is? I do. Okay, a long time ago, somebody on 4chan made a giant schizo post because mm -hmm. ContraPoints vague posted something because she literally speaks in vagaries, okay? Okay. Um, ContraPoints vague posted about her having, ah, oh, I'm going to f*** this up. But something about like an ex that she didn't like who was like creepy or like uh, tried to copy her shit or something. I don't even know if she said that in the past, but she just had an ex that she had a bad whatever with. Okay. okay. Bad falling out with. Sure. And people looked at, there's a channel called Philosophy Tube. I'm familiar. Um, That's the one that yeah, became trans. Her name is Abigail. Yep. And she had a Philosophy Tube 
YouTube channel that slowly, day by day, started to look more and more like ContraPoints' content. Okay. So they started to copy the aesthetic, they started mm -hmm. to copy the delivery um, and the scripting, and they also became trans. <laughs> okay, yeah, I do and, remember that part. Yeah, and there was this whole theory on 4chan relating to um, her maybe sexually assaulting Contra, uh, her like copying all of Contra's shit and becoming creepy and obsessive. And Contra released a tweet the other day saying, Something along the lines of like, wow, if you think that's bad or weird, imagine having an ex that copies and lists your entire aesthetic for their YouTube channel, which seems to confirm some big key parts of that uh, 4chan uh, copy pasta hmm. or schizo post. Wow. But she did come out and tweeted later on and clarified there was no essay involved. So okay. there you go. So basically no sexual assault, but totally jacked her vibe. Maybe, but I think also the interesting thing is, did Abigail become trans to copy ContraPoints? You mean for the... For the clout? For the money? For anything. Who knows? Interesting. So this is the, the Schizo Post compilation on screen. Okay. Do you want me to read it to you? Um, I'd like to be educated, please. One. PT stealing Contra's aesthetic. I'm sending it to your screen, Stephen, so you can read it closer. Oh, that, see that technology right there? He's sending it to your screen. He's not sending it to my screen. He's sending me a link on Discord for me to open it. It sounded cooler before you explained it, <laughs> and I wish that you wouldn't have done that because it would have sounded... Contra used to have multicolored lighting, then PT, that's an abbreviation for philosophy tube, had multicolored lighting. Uh, lighting. Then Contra stopped. Then PT stopped. She has also used multiple different characters. Then so did PT, then Contra stopped, and then PT stopped. Contra's most recent couple of videos have been her sitting on a nice chair slash other fancy furniture for the whole video, talking at the camera for the whole video, not moving, sometimes with a barely relevant set design. Mm -hmm. Look at the set design in part two of the latest PT video. Sitting on a nice chair and not moving, just talking to the camera. Looks like it could be the next Contra set if just had a couple of props. And then there's a couple pictures. Uh, showing the similarity in set design. And then, video where Contra comes out as a lesbian. There is a quote from that video but not below that says, update on February's video. Sadly, I'm very unwell at the moment. You might already know that at the end of March, I'll be starring in a stage adaptation of Dracula in London that I'm also producing. To try and reshoot this video, uh, make a March one and do all of that would be very bad for my health. Unfortunately, I had a nervous breakdown recently and rather than see it as a narrow escape, I think I should, uh, I think I should interpret it as a warning sign to take it easy. I'm a little better now and have a wonderful support network around me, so don't worry. And I don't want to risk another bigger one by pushing myself too hard. If I was a boss and an employee came to me saying they'd gone through what I've gone through, I'd tell them to take sick leave. So as my own boss, I'm doing just that. Now, part two rift between Contra and PT. Mm -hmm. So now there are tweets, I can barely read this because the resolution on this link is so fucking bad. While you're doing this, I need, I, need to, I need a refresher on my drink because I'm not a baby girl. Okay. You gonna, are you gonna have some of your drink? I have been drinking it. You haven't. Haunted by I'm flashbacks of HP oh, sauce and dinner you, at the East India. I love calling like and Dan. Hey, we're the same height. Um, it's just Abigail responding, I think over and over again on tweets to Contra. <laughs> Isn't the U.S. government the worst something, America? I don't know. I think it's a bunch of that. And then ContraPoint separated bans, PT discussion. Uh, and then I, that's and then something about a potential sexual assault, but that's just them speculating. And right. there Speculation. You go. I hate that. Wow. Uh, okay. I'm bored now. But that was that. Oh, what do you think about speculators? Because that's kind of what you're doing right now. I'm not literally reading the, con I'm reading the post and what, reporting mm -hmm. what she said on Twitter. Gotcha. Yeah, so I'm not speculating You think she appreciates you pulling up this like old... Old 4chan nonsense. Don't know. Nonsense. Don't care. She shouldn't have vague tweeted about it if she didn't want anybody to talk about okay. it. Okay, that's fine. Um, I think she likes that I brought it up. She's probably watching right now, pumping her fish. She's like, yeah, get fucking get Abigail. Yeah. I wanted one thing she clarified to say. There was no abuse. Oh, shit. I didn't know that the sound latency carried over to the other side of the room Like physically. I just said, one thing... Because I said that two minutes ago. Okay, calm down. Why are you so angry? I'm super calm. I gotta be honest because I don't want to lie, okay? I, I'm, oh, I'm, the thank first, God. I'm the first one that also calls out that. People, people say I'm not going to lie, and it really triggers me. Yeah. Why do you have no, why do you have no fur on the side of your face? What it, happened? It sometimes it just falls out. I, it's not like it falls out. It is. It's, it's an autoimmune a, thing, yes. It's an actual Israeli patch that you have there. I, what well, deal did you make? Some of it thought, and then I started to shave the rest in the shape of my favorite country, so. Do you... You really are Israel's strong. Thank you, Dan. You are Israel's strongest soldier. I am. This brings me to another point. 
which was, was it Jordan Peterson? That's a guy. That you've spoken to. I have. Said to Ethan Klein not to appease the people on the far left, because no matter what you do, they'll hold you to a higher and higher standard, and eventually you won't be able to reach it. yourself, yes. Do you think that that was a very inspiring, honest thing that he said, or do you disagree with that statement? It's a true statement. I don't know how insightful it was when he said it. He was probably just asked mad about lefties, but it was a true statement. Well, do you think that that standard applies to the right as well? Mm, no, because the right hold themselves to no standards because they're f***ing insane and they accept it. But that's like, that's like, is that more honest to do that? To just be like, yeah, we're f***ing wild and we're I think full so, of yeah. shit, as opposed to the left who kind of holds himself a little bit higher than everyone else and then does the same bullshit? Actually, it's true. The right's just like, f*** it, you know? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, we're going to do it. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Yes, exactly. I'm, I'm retweeting this fake news. I know it's fake. Stay mad, liberal. That's what they're going to do. Yeah. But then the left does the same shit and then gets community noted and then they just don't address it. How, and, how is that? Why is that the case, Steve? Why do they do that? Why do they hurt the cause of the left so hard? You know, it's just part of being on the left is virtue signaling and holding people to high standards. It's what they do, you know? I see. Um, I do think that what Mr. Peterson, I call him Mr. Peterson because I hold him in very high regard. Um, Wouldn't you call him Professor Peterson then? Well, there's some stipulations there of what happened as a result of his last job. But you know what? Professor Peterson, um, I believe he did have a point, is that there is no appeasing. Do you think, let me ask you this, because you had some very strong words for Hassan previously, yesterday, and today as well. Do you think that Hassan's audience is kind of getting, that he's not going far enough? Is that how you feel? Like Hassan is basically not going too far, and as a result of that, they're losing some of that audience. No, I think he went too far. You think he's gone too far? I don't think far. he went too far. You, so you, Listen, there's a philosophy, uh -huh, okay? I'm listening. You can either come up with a movement, yes, and then you fall off with a movement, okay, or you persevere and you build like Sisyphus, okay? And mm -hmm. you roll the stone up the hill on your own with no help, no communities, no friends, okay? Sure. The Sigma Wolf, okay, back against the world. Are you trying to describe okay? yourself right now? That is me. Yes. Okay, gotcha. Um, the advantage to the community approach is you get a really big lift really quickly. Yeah. Um, the advantage to my approach is whatever you build, you have a much easier time keeping. So the problem is, is that as the 2000, like super woke, tanky socialist, like Zoomer era, uh, that like communist, whatever bullshit kind of came and Hassan was lifted with it. As it recedes, Hassan will kind of fall with it. And he has to carve out something new and unique on his own in order to maintain relevancy, basically. Why such a sharp turn down over such a short period of time. I think there's just been a couple of big things recently that have made people be like, whoa. To lose half your audience? What specifically? The Israel-Palestine thing, I think was a big deal for a lot of people. You think that he just lost like anyone who was like, hey, I think Israel shouldn't be ex you know, removed or something. Um, I don't think that- um, I feel like all these subscriptions that are being gifted right now in DGG, I feel like I should get some of that. Yeah. We'll I'm pulling up my it. inner yeah. Karantos right now. Look, look at how, how many, many there is. Thank good guy creeper for 50 tier one subs. Hey, good guy creeper. Go ahead and say in chat that you're doing that just for me. Good one. Because I need Steven to know that. Um, <clears throat> I will. What were we just talking about? You know, I didn't like Karantos at first, but he taught me much. What did he teach you? That you are a piggy bank to be milked and that that is your main purpose to be served. As a result, Mr. Girl also told me this. Nice. When I did my interview with him, that's soon to be coming out. Um, f what were we just talking about? I forgot. Jordan Peterson. No, we weren't. We were talking and, about Hassan and something to and do Hassan. with- And Hassan. Oh, the Israel Palestine stuff. It wasn't, it's not Hassan's fault in particular, but I think a lot of left-leaning people around the whole world saw like the full-throated support for Hamas and were like, this feels like very, very weird. Mm. Uh, and then also the support for the Houthis. And then this feels very weird. I think there's a lot of people that have, I'm not saying they became conservatives, but they probably took a couple steps back where they were like, this doesn't feel good anymore. Yeah. And then uh, that came off the back of also like the Russia stuff too. Um, and then Hassan personally made those weird like re-education camp comments about capitalism and then it's the China so, Taiwan it, stuff. Like I think, yeah, it's all, yeah. I, just to be clear, Hassan's really funny. I think he could totally he make really it. really funny? He's like decently entertaining. Decently, I wouldn't say he's like really funny. But he's, who, he's do you, who do you think is really funny? Um, on Twitch or sure, Tyler One is really funny. I don't think he's really funny. He's only funny when he gets mad. Tyler One's entertaining. No, Tyler One is always funny. Always, one hundred percent of the time. Tyler One is like the funny thing is his league holds him back. 
because all of his non-lead content is A+. plus. Dr. Disrespect is funny. I think Mezkiff is, like, decently funny. I, you know, I Will Neff is I pretty funny, I think. I don't see Dr. Disrespect ever anymore. And I'm going to tell you, she's got a leak about him eventually. With whatever happened with Twitch, they can't hold it back forever, can they? I don't know. I've had, like, four different people come to me with that one story that I told you, like, three years ago. So mm -hmm. I feel like more people know, but I don't know. Do you want to... Do you want to say what that story is? No, because of the people that originally found out decided not to say it. There's probably good reason. So I'm not going to be the one to leave. You don't, don't want to say the story. So just to be clear, you know why Dr. Disrespect. I don't know, you but think I know you what know. other people have said, have for years. Is it against the law to say what you've heard from someone else? No. Okay. So you could say why Dr. Disrespect you've heard from maybe some sources that are unknown, but verifiable, was removed from Twitch. You do know that. You I'm not going to say shit. You could it's say It's not that. my place. It's not your place. Not my place to say. But it's been so long, and they want to know. It's not my place to the say. Innocent... I didn't do any of the... I don't have first-hand access so to any of the original shit? reporting. I do. I'm not going to spread shit like that. It's... You're, not, you're not a rumor? No. Nope. You're not a gossip Andy? Nope. Okay. Well, it'd be a gossip... What starts with G? Gale? Is Gale I think a male or female name? Got me kicked off Quantic Gaming 12 years ago. Uh, what'd you do to get kicked off of uh, Quantic? I called a Korean American player a gook. Why would you do that? I thought he was just white. I don't know if that makes it better or not. I'm well, be honest if you with use you. a racial slur against somebody that's not actually that race, it's got to count for something, right? You know what the problem is? The problem is, is that this generation doesn't understand what the internet was like 10 years ago. And it's retroactively holding it to a standard that is not fair to be held to today. Would you concur with that or disagree with that? No, I think there's the standards are appropriate. You probably shouldn't be able to call people racial slurs. <laughs> but everyone was calling each other racial racial. Everyone was. <laughs> you're about two professional evaluations wow. away from a formal retardation diagnosis. Me. Okay, man. that's where you're at right now. You know what? It only happens with you. Okay, uh -huh. listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, shut the fuck up. Okay, back then. COD lobbies were wild, okay? Everything was wild back then. If you weren't wild, you were you were getting abused. Do you disagree with that statement? I agree, but there was also the Wild West in the United States. Yes. Do you think that everything should be like the Wild West still? No, no because I things don't, change. I don't, but I don't, on the same part, I don't think that we should be going back and retroactively holding... We don't. We do. I don't think we do. We definitely People don't give do. a f about 10 years ago anymore. We, we moved on. definitely go back and are like, oh my God, look what this guy said 10 years ago. No, I don't think so. You're delusional. That okay. happens every day. Okay. People are, okay, okay. That, that's fine. Every day. Well, maybe not every day, but frequently enough. Okay. You don't think that people are like getting called out because it's like uh, of some shit that they said saying the soft day. I think, we, I think like three or four years ago, I think we kind of hit peak on like woke cancel shit. I don't think we do, do that anymore. Okay. I, I disagree. I think that's like still happening pretty f***ing heavy today. Really? Yes. Name one recent example. Oh. There's one, uh, the San Francisco 49ers uh, general Tabor? manager. Oh. No, not Tabor is an innocent, Go ahead. delicate peach that would never. Mm -hmm. But there was someone that worked for the San Francisco 49ers, I think a manager of some sort that got fucking evicted from that organization because he had some crazy tweets that were out there that got discovered. Not like mild, shit, like stuff. What do you like, mean by crazy? Well, I don't know if I want to say it. Like shit, like Forty ers fired tweets. Yeah, let's pull. Let's, Is it Steven Spencer? I don't know. Could be. Don't know the name of the guy. Let's pull that up, Dan. Oh, okay. Okay, but like this isn't like just cancel culture Whoa! stuff. Oh, yeah. Holy, I know that's Christ. what I'm looking at. Yeah. But this isn't like just random guy, tentacles. This guy was saying some pretty wild shit. Yeah, this guy, normally I would not advocate for redact.dev usage for this type of content. I still don't. But this is some wild shit. Posting stuff like this years ago. This was 2011. I don't think that's... Uh, there's no way this is okay to do that type of shit. Okay. That, no, I said that's not okay. You said that's okay. What are you talking about? No, I was just trying to, I was trying to catch you. But yeah, you you're not catching me, okay? I'm literally the, the uh, rabbit to your turtle, okay? Well, Myers Leonard me. in the NBA? I don't know who that is. There was some, um... He didn't get canceled for old shit. It was for something he'd said on that stream. 
Dude, who is the dude that owns like an NBA team? <laughs> he like said crazy Jewish shit. Jewish owner guy? Why do they always have to be Jewish? Because when I argued with Nick Fuentes, that was a counterexample for a Jewish guy getting canceled for using racial slurs against oh. black people because they were trying to make the argument that Jews controlled black people, but that was an example of somebody getting fired who was Jewish for being racist about black people. Yeah, that guy. Donald Sterling. Donald Sterling. He said, he got, he, he got f***ed up. Yeah. That's like some f***ed up shit. You do that. Your shit's f***ed. What's the message that you have for the Israelis watching you right now? I just hope you protect me when I'm in your country. Okay, but they don't really want to, like, put their life on the line for a streamer. That would be kind of stupid. They put their life on the line for stupid shit in the West Bank. Why not? So you're actually going to go to the West Bank when you're there? Be nice to. I don't think it would be nice to. I think that would be fucking wild. It wouldn't be that wild. It's wild. That's like the type of shit. It's like, hey, I don't want to be here anymore. Let me call Uber. Sorry, the Uber doesn't go to fucking, you know, whatever. Yeah, Dinner that's Jack. your qualifier for wild is if Uber yes. goes there. I think that is a good qualification. Okay. How wild is this area? Does you know Uber what? It wouldn't surprise me if there was Uber from the West Bank into Israel proper. No, I don't think so. You really don't think so? Let's see. Let's see if you can. <laughs> let's can I Uber let's from order Israel into the West from Bank? From the occupied Area territories. C. Oh, Uber doesn't operate in Israel at all. That's what I, that's what I thought. Well, I guess it makes sense because it takes like 30 minutes to walk from one end of the country to the other. So why the fuck would there be Uber? Okay. I've, they do have Lime scooters there. I made use of them when I was there. I really like the food in Israel. In Tel Aviv, especially. There's a hummus place. I went to, um, the only reason I want to go back to Israel with you, aside from putting my life in danger, which mm -hmm. is like exciting, gets me a little excited is the food. The food is so fucking good. I can't wait to eat the most mid-fucking Mediterranean, Middle Eastern, whatever the fuck sh amalgamation of bullshit-ass food ever and be like, wow, <laughs> glad I came here for this. I could have gotten you, better you food know, in LA you know, or New York. Okay, the problem I feel here, the, the differentiating factor is that you are mid as a person. So you cannot appreciate high class cuisine as a result yeah that's a fancy way of saying you're easily impressed no i am a connoisseur of yeah. cuisine they call me the cuisine connoisseur actually when you look online if you google my name it says dan saltman cuisine connoisseur i could have been a food critic if i wanted to be a food critic yes at any point in time dan you're two condiments away from giving a five-star rating to every restaurant you go to that's not true that is absolutely true that's not true. what are the what would the condiments ketchup possibly and be? ranch probably that's not that, those don't even go together i know that makes it all the more depressing okay so i overloaded him right there you, you, overloaded overloaded right there. <laughs> you know what you've done you've said you've gone you've gone and you've made me tired okay in the words of peter coffin let me go ahead and throw this back Peter Coffin. I'm disappointed in that in that man. Okay, as I said before, I hold leftists to a higher standard, even though they're just as insane as the right. How are you going to go and retweet obviously bullshit? You you hold no feeling to you. It's all the same. You're they're just, all crazy. Yeah, I've been fighting these all, people for years. All, yeah, they're all crazy. That's why we had the lefty arc. Well, you know what, Peter, I'm disappointed in you and you should have known better and you should have known it was a joke and it was bullshit and the fact that you didn't means it's just for clicks and uh you're no better than the people you criticize and it's not good and I, was, I was talking directly into the camera but i don't know if dan switched to that no, camera I when you. i did I got he got he got good job me. jay it's dan not jay you can send that out that's fine okay um do you know what brought me back? How famous and awesome and amazing I am? No, because you're not that famous. You're, you're like 50%, no, maybe like 40, 35% more famous when I left from like a year ago. What brought me back is I realized, so I, I left, I took a break, okay? I took a year break, so to speak. Played a lot of Rust, relaxed, worked on startups, things along those lines. What brought me back is I realized that your toxic orbit, your mag magnetic disease, I can't escape it. Even me just being a soft kitty cat, fucking chilling, doing what I'm doing, I still get called your CIA handler. And I realized at that point, fuck it. You know what I mean? You might as well just come back. I might as well just embrace it and destroy everyone who stands in my path, basically. Because there's no, there's no escaping it. There's no escape. Once, once they've touched you, 
for life. That's it. That's it. You know, even actually, I don't want to throw anyone to the bus, but there's someone else. Oh my god, he's such a pussy. I, I like. I just gave this. He's like, the reason why I came back. No, I, I gave the I answer. Don't give a, okay, no. I will destroy. I will bury. But this is someone I, will I bury like. Bury my enemies, okay? I'm gonna bury these fools. All right. You think Gaza looks bad right now? Wait till you see the wasteland. Oh. All right. That is the that is the territory that my op online opponents inhabit. Okay. So yes. let me talk about this one guy. I don't want to say any names. Though, okay. That I don't want to bring up. Any that is I don't bring up. I don't want to say any names. But there's this one guy. No, okay? that's not what happened. Okay. I'll say the name of. It's like this f***ing Glenn the f***ing golden one. Some Twitter psych. You already tweeted this f***ing psycho. I just okay. want to hear you say it. I want to hear you own something for once in your f***ing cowardly this life. This conspiracy f***ing sucker says I'm a Whoa! CIA handler. Hassan you know what? I'll say for one reason. Just because I'm a f***ing Jew. And I'm like barely f***ing Jewish. I'll have a bacon sandwich right now. And I don't believe in any of that bullshit. You know what? People like that are f***ing assholes. But that, it did bring me back. It realized, it made me realize that there's just no escaping the toxic culture that you've created. And I'm destined to be ruined because of it. Now, the other thing that I was talking about, not that, was that there was a friendly person that we know, mutual friend. Oh, another person, unnamed person. An unnamed person, that's our <sighs> friend that we're on good terms with. Yeah. And they haven't been around for a while. Like, like an example would be like Kyle. Why not just name the person? Because I don't want to. Why? Because I don't want to. Is it? I'm not gonna say who Nick? it is. Even if you Kyla? said who it was, I wouldn't say who it was. But this person who hasn't been on for a while, I'll tell you guys, is getting like negative, like very mean, very like serious, like threatening comments. And it's fucked up and it shouldn't be happening. So Mr. we're going we're gonna to kill them all. That's what we're going to do. Moody booty. I already told you, I'm not going to say who it is. Why are you trying to ascertain when I've very clearly set my boundaries? You know what you're doing? When you go past what I've said without consent, Okay, I figured, okay, hold on. That's I've been a, watching a lot of anime lately, that's so my form. deductive problem solving, it's there. Okay, so it can't be a person that's already on stream and has complained about it. Okay. It's somebody that you said hasn't been on stream in a while, and it's somebody that hasn't been on stream in a while that people would contact because of their association with me who doesn't want to bring more attention to themselves because they've already left this world. That's who it is. I figured it out. It's one of two people, and one of them wouldn't talk to you, so it's one of one person. I know exactly who you're talking about. Who is it? I want to know. I already said the name. You've already said the name. Yep. You're already wrong. Okay. That's good. That's good. I am I feel proud that you think that you're so smart that you could ascertain this. And that's Wait, part you of think why I haven't said you think I haven't said the name? You haven't said the name. If I say can I have one guess and you'll tell me? I'll tell you through DM if it's the person. I'm not going to say on stream. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Do a hand signal? No, I'm not wait, doing wait, a hand signal. No, the camera won't see it. The camera won't see it. The camera will see it. I will do I will do a message to you on Discord if you get the person correctly. I'm thinking of a coded speech I can send you and then you can confirm. Why not just say the name? Because it would be so much cooler to do this. I, I know, I know who. I'm gonna message you. Okay. I, I know it. I know it one hundred percent. Is your is your is his screen on camera? No. Okay, good. I'm so goddamn smart. No. Who who? <laughs> I'm, well, I'm not going to say, but it wasn't... Well, actually. Hey, hold on. Second guess. Take a second guess. It's not this. Nope. Oh, uh, wait. He's hold pathetic. On. Hold on. Look at him. Look it's at him. Not, it's wander. not... It can't be this. No. Nope. Three times he's failed. You know what? I think we're closing it out for right now. It can't be this. Can it not be? Oh, you're, you... Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I got it. All right. I'm. I feel good. You're so dumb. You're so. You, you know what it is. You know what it is. What? Is you're used to people that you can play. No, you, you, you just you lied. I've I lied, and you fell for my lie. No. Do you know why? Because I'm a good liar, and you are not a good liar. You're not catcher. a good liar. I'm an amazing liar. You're absolutely not. Based on the responses that I've received right here, I am the best liar that you've ever seen. You have a 25 percent success rate. I, I'm gonna. Okay. All right. Houthis deserve the Nobel Peace Prize from Norman Finkelberg. How do you feel about that? I don't know. What did Destiny say about this two days ago when he covered it on his stream? I don't know. Let's get it today. The he said that uh, probably pretty dumb. Probably pretty dumb? That Let's was hear it. it. Let's hear it from Finkel Tweak. Peace Prize. I said, 
I would give it to three. I would divide it between three. South Number Africa. one, South African delegation. Okay. Number two, yes. those doctors who uh, volunteered to go to What Gaza. is James seeing when he's on screen? One doctor, mm. he was asked, Gorm he was Palestinian. Oh, he was see. asked, What's why don't you middle? leave? What's what? Because he middle? had a options. butterfly? He Am I like delusional? Go. He said, I didn't go to medical school. Right. The for screen, there's something years. in the middle there. My to I abandoned my people. Oh, this I think this one was like killed. Okay. This one you're talking yes, about. Yes, he was killed. He was killed. Who's that? So number two. What's her name? The doctors. Why do you want to know? Third, it's curious. The Houthis. Okay. It's the Houthis. They're the third winners. The winners. The real Nobel Peace Prize. Ah. If genocide is the crime of crimes, as mm. it's called, then I say the Houthis are the hero of heroes. You know, there's a market for everything, it seems like. And it, this guy has cornered the market on self-hating Jew more than anyone else. Would you concur with that? Yeah, but I mean, I think a market for all types of people that hate Jews has been pretty big in demand for yeah, the past you, two you or three thousand years. Yeah, but you need to have the token Jew who hates Jews more than any other Jew. Wait, quiz question. Yes. If when I did, like, Jewish stuff, when did that start? Jewish what? Like, Jew shit. Jew like, shit? When did it start? Like, when was the first Jew? Well, I don't know. I think they go back quite a while. Yeah, but like how long? Like Jesus in Christianity was like 30-ish? 1800 BCE. That was the first Really? Jew? Yeah. Like 4,000 years ago? Yo. Wait, what did they do for so long? They were chilling, man. They were out there parting. No, they weren't parting seas. That wasn't for a while. Um, Holy shit. Why is it it's so... It's a, such an old religion. That's so cringe. You know... When you think about religion, yeah, and then you realize that they didn't have the internet, and it's like just a giant game of telephone that this whole thing was created. It becomes How can it be a game exciting. of telephone where they didn't have telephones yet? Because they're like, dude, did you hear that this dude fucking walked on water? You're like, for real? And that's it. And then now it's in a book. Wait, who walked on water? Jesus, didn't he? Did you guys? Do you guys think he did that? I don't know. Because <laughs> I don't believe in any of the religious. I thought he was bullshit. our water walker. Is he your water walker? Well, do you yeah, claim him? Because he's like, this. well, that's what our shit is named that's after. That's kind of like pathetic if you're like... How is it... I'm sorry, who's the coolest guy that you have? Um, Technically, he has Jesus. Yeah, we have Jesus. He's the king of the Jews. Yeah, but you literally killed him. You know when you say Jesus is a king, you know what you mean, right? Jesus is king. Yeah, he overcame you guys, you losers. When well, you killed thing, him, you he, literally... Do you know what they put above him? You know the sign? The cross. Yeah, but that's a Jewish cross, you know? You no, know but the, the thing that they posted above him. Yeah. You, you don't know? No, because I don't know anything oh. about religion. What, you, what is it? I think it's, isn't it I-N-I or I-N-R-I? Oh my God, you can't say that on stream. Good one. But I think it meant King of the Jews. Isn't that what it meant? I don't know. Do you know how I remember that in school for a mm -hmm. test? No. I-N-R-I? <laughs> no, it wasn't racist. <laughs> Jesus. But Do it sounds like book. don't make me spit my fucking shit out. Because it works for I'm nailed right in. Clever way. Okay. Yeah. I'm <laughs> nailed right in. Yeah, I N R I. You are satanic. Did you know that? Um, no. But anyway, it yes. was King of the Jews. I thought that's what they put up there. Yeah. Yeah, well, Jesus, Jesus is the king, right? Yeah. Of the Jews. Well, but they were making fun of him when he when they put that sign there. But he was still a Jew. Well. He was like the proto-Christian. The first. Maybe. He was like like new. What's a word for like new rock? Nouveau? He was like nouveau Judaism. Okay. Yeah. Did Jews question for you? Do you know the answer to this? Do Jews think that dinosaurs were around at the same time as they were? I don't know. I don't know either. I've never heard of like a flat earth creationist Jew. They're always Christian. Why? I don't know. Don't you guys have the same creation story, right? We all have Genesis, right? You, you don't know? I don't know. Is Genesis in the Torah? Dude, that shit's all fucking wild. Who knows, man? Um, okay. Then you have to do like a bar mitzvah and prove. You just like read some shit. You don't study for this? I had to study. I had to like rem I had to learn. They shouldn't have given you birthright. I'm actually upset now. I didn't get birthright. What do you mean? I didn't you never went to Israel for free? 
No, you got to like go fucking do shit to like go for free. Like what? I don't know. They make you like live on a kibbutz or some shit. I don't no, fucking they, know. No, you send them a picture of your dick or some shit. And they like give you a full expenses paid trip and they walk you around and ask you to go fight against Palestinians. Oh, I, sh- I missed that one. That would have been, I could have saved some airfare. The American Airlines ticket I got was quite expensive out of New York. I'm almost positive you could have went for free. Are you lying about your background? No. Wait, I just had a Candace Owens moment. Uh, Holy shit, here you we even go. know what birthright is. I know what birthright is, but I also know that it's quite oh complicated. My, he lied. He's listen, not even fucking Jewish. Listen to me. If you don't you even want... come across as Jewish, actually. Okay. It doesn't even surprise me that you yes, wouldn't be. I know. You were At like least... a computer hacker guy. Okay. What's Jewish about that? Listen to me. You don't have any bankers in your family. None. Because that is the most Jewish thing you can have as a banker in your family. Or a credit score accountant. The only PhD in your family is Russian. Why would you marry a Russian? Weren't they like fucking your people hardcore over like 100 years ago? Many programs. Big ass. Jews don't even like big ass. Jews have big titties. Nothing you're saying lines up. She had Nothing those you're too. saying is lining up. Both of those. Oh my God. I don't think Dan is Jewish. I failed the test. Man, that's going to be the worst. Both being. You couldn't speak the Hebrew earlier when you looked it up. That's you didn't not know how to true. pronounce any of it. I, I, listen, I could read it at one point. Do your bar mitzvah right now. I only know like the a very small part of it. What was your bar mitzvah name? It was from the book of Judges. Because I wanted to. What was it attorney. about? What is it about? Yeah, what you read. I don't know. You picked the <laughs> passage and you don't even know what it was about? I just learned how to uh, read the thing. It was like, uh, oh my God, can I even remember? Do I even want to do this? Yes. Oh, yes. We need it. Do I want to do it? Let's I'm going to lose my credibility. Camera's right. on you, Because Dan. people thought that I was like a Jew-paid Mossad okay. asset. Right. And now my asset handler I'm isn't thinking, even fucking I'm Jewish. I'm thinking I can't let my Israeli brothers down. That No. Hold on. I'm thinking. What was it? My... My half Torah. Baruch Taranoi Elohino Malkal. No, wait, that's different. That's for Hanukkah. We don't do that one. That's for the prayer for wine. That's Bere Priya Hagafen. Uh, oh my God. I've been drinking too much. That's the problem. No, you're a fucking Jew cosplayer. I'm not. I know it. I just got to think for a second. Udvara Isha Nibia Eshet Lapido. Ni- oh my god that's all i know that's all i remember your, wife, I fucking... your wife's maiden name is saltman i bet she has the last name and your last name was like davidson or smith something stupid yeah smith do i have a, do i have a very smith look to you what do you think a little bit yeah pretty forgettable dan what's this person wearing on his head is this a gopro johnson uh that's not a go- gopro that's a that's a well, that's like a strainer that you put the noodles in and no. then the water goes out so Fun story about the tefillin that you would have seen in episode negative one. Of what? Of anything else podcast with Dan and Destiny. Oh, okay. If you've seen that. Is the insane Orthodox Hasidic Jews. So, okay. Story time. Because I know Steve doesn't like to do any fucking work here. True. I live in an area of Miami Beach called Little Israel. And... um. I moved here without knowing a single fucking person. I just moved here because it was a sick house and I wanted to be in a place that was nice weather. And I was looking at Hawaii and I was looking at here and I was looking at San Diego and I landed here. But anyways, I'm surrounded by Orthodox Jews every direction. Okay. Like, so your house can have nine people surrounding it, right? Like in every direction. You understand? Like left, right. Yeah, I play video games. I'm aware of the Okay, you you understand like the Sim City. You've got cardinal directions and then the All of them are Orthodox or Hasidic Jews. Okay. All of them. Okay. Now, these people are insane. Do you know why they're insane? Yes. You told me this. Okay. Because Dan came to me and he was like, I don't understand. I've been living near these people and I I feel feel like like I've known Jewish people before. This is definitely not going to be true, whatever this is. Dan comes over to my house and he's like, can you look up what Goyim means? Because they keep calling me this over and over again. And I don't understand what it means. And I'm like, wait, really? Holy shit, the signs were there the whole fucking time. Okay. This happened when me, Mr. Mooten, and Dan were all hanging out too in his... uh, uh, in his fucking pool house or whatever. Yeah. I remember because me and Dan yes. were making fun of Mr. Mooten, and then me and Mr. Mooten realized halfway through the conversation because Mooten needs lotion to masturbate, and me and Dan didn't. <laughs> and and all of a sudden I realized that me and Mooten look at Dan and we're like, wait a second, Dan, you don't need what? lotion to masturbate. And Dan's like, what? What would you need lotion First for? Off, I can't believe I missed all the fucking signs. You need lotion. And I want to get to my story before I Sorry, get to yeah, that. do your go. Ahead. Okay. Okay. Orthodox and Hasidic Jews. For them, they have these things 
that are called like mitzvahs and it's like doing good things. And for them, like one of the biggest mitzvahs that they can do, number uno. Can I guess? Numero uno. Yeah. I've already told you, so you know. know the answer. So you can't <laughs> say it. So no, you can't guess. My bad. Numero uno on the scale is converting like a born Jewish person that doesn't believe in the bullshit back into the fold. So these people are all on my shit constantly. I fucking live here. I've lived here for 10 years and they're on my dick nonstop. Like basically trying to get me to convert to Orthodox Hasidic Judaism, because if they do it, that's like a fucking token into the promised land or something. And of course I have to dodge these people in their crazy. Okay. Orthodox and Hasidic Jews, just to be clear, I don't want to rag on my own religion too much. Not that it's my religion because I don't believe in it. But that said, you guys got the crazies too. You have Jehovah's Witnesses. You got Scientologists. You got... Um, Those guys aren't Christian. What? Whatever. Okay. They're white guys. Okay. okay. They count. <laughs> and Jews don't? The, our white guys are the Hasidic and Orthodox Jews. They're fucking nuts too. Yeah, but you're white to everybody but Nazis. And the left? Sometimes. Sometimes. Those count too. Anyways. Um... But anyways, yeah, the, these guys are, are fucking wild. When I go to pick my kid up from school, I shit you not, they're standing out in the fucking parking lot looking for people that look Jewish. And they come up to you and they go, excuse me, excuse me, are, are, are you Jewish? Are you Jewish? Do you want to put on the tefillin? And for them to get you. It's a huge deal if they get you and they get you to put on, basically it's like they wrap some leather shit around your arm. They put the fucking power box on your head. I don't fucking know. The whole thing. It's Why don't, crazy. You should do a mitzvah and just let them convert you. No. Every time you run into one, just let one convert you. And no. feel like they've done a good deed. I did it once and it takes way too long. How so long is way too long? It's like 15 minutes. Oh my God. You're so, probably making this dude's life. This guy thinks he's like- I just tell him that I'm Arab now and then they leave me alone. Yeah, Arab? We all look the same anyways. Okay. What's your Arab name? I, I haven't come up with an Arab name yet. Should I? What, what's a good Arab name, Dan, that we can have? Um, you know, Muhammad's a little overdone, I think, right? No. Uh, Muhammad bin Muhammad. You could be Daniel bin Goyim, since your dad was clearly not Jewish. <laughs> that's not... That, they're going to know that's fake. They know that word. No, no <laughs> self-respecting Muslim would be named Daniel bin Goyim. You're... You're just fucking capping right now. Listen, oh, Gabe. Listen, that's not going to actually happen. Okay. So anyways, that's my, that's my story with how I deal with the Orthodox Jews in my neighborhood. And it's fucking miserable. That was fascinating. But, it's, you know, it's a nice house. Okay. With too many Jews. Your house? No, around my house. Is your oh. wife Jewish? Unfortunately. Like me. Another one that, like, uh, was born that way and then realize that religion is way too much work well she had to deal with russia she was born jewish right? yes in what country in russia no where the soviet union so in russia or was she in a like ukraine or some bullshit or poland or some shit i don't know if i can know uh in russia or estonia oh okay yeah where at in russia is she from i don't i don't know if i really want to say for the purpose of stream why because people are going to find her fucking hometown yeah, they're fucking gonna, Serbia they're gonna or some bullshit. They're, they're okay. gonna show up. Southern Russia, warm, soft, like me. Okay. So I'm she a, was cheering for the invasion of Georgia and everything. I, I'm sure. Ah, uh, okay. That's cool. Mm. Oh. By the way, before we get into this, my Twitch, not Stevens, is Dan can't stream. So if you have Twitch Primes, Jeff Bezos, that fucker. Jesus. That stupid. F oh. Jeff, that was our secret guest for Bridges, oh, episode yeah. eight. That was definitely coming. Absolutely. Give me them. What's going to happen first? What? Jeff Bezos on Bridges or Mark Cuban on Startups? <laughs> 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 if I had to guess. That's an old one, guys. <clears throat> Only the old fans, the true <clears throat> fans will remember that one. If I had to guess. I think I could get Mark Cuban on Startups before, I could get, before you could get Jeff Bezos. Mike. All right, give us the $50 Super Chats. I sent them to you. Do you want me to read them? Yeah, read them out loud, Dan. All right. P. Nasty says for $50, if you had to force the other to do research stream on one topic, what would it be? Child. <laughs> what is wrong with you? 
You're so fucking. Re- I don't. I don't even know what to say. All right, that's my answer to him too. <laughs> okay. Hayne says Dan is a Russian spy. Suka bliat, pashol one askazal. You speak less Russian than probably the average CSGO player, okay? Shut Listen, up. Steven's really upset because I told him my strategy for dealing with homeless people was when we walk around and homeless people accost you. Yeah, let's see. Uh, hold on, hold on. One time. Let me, let me, let me finish. Okay. My strategy for dealing with homeless people is very simple. You speak another language and then they realize they can't f*** you. So they just leave you alone. And they're like, hey, uh, excuse me, do you have $5? And you're like, oh, нет, я, я, нет, я, я понимаю по-русски. And then they're like, okay, never mind. This guy doesn't speak English. I did this one time with Steven. But the guy was like schizophrenic. And he was like, you're the KGB and you're coming to f***ing kill me. And he like approached me and Steven ready to f***ing kill and of course, Steven backed away and I had to protect him. But it was a very dangerous moment that we were at as a result. But it's still a good strategy. It works, I would say, 95% of the time. The 5% of the time it doesn't work is when you get the schizophrenic guy who believes that the KGB is coming to kill you. So anyways, that's a classic Dan story. Don't worry, guys. Hopefully now that Dan's back on stream, we'll hang out somewhere in real life so we can get some new stories instead of recycling the same four stories every single time. Yeah, but they're all good. And I already told you why that I'm story back. Is I okay. thought I could leave. Was that a really good story? I think that's a good story. I think I tell it good. And I and also I left to try and live a normal life. And then I realized that your HIV infection just spreads naturally. Throughout. You know, the only way I can give you HIV, right? Is if I in the ass. That's so you're not kind true. of admitting to being my bottom bitch that's not by true. saying that. That is true. If I you're if either I you're either psychologically you. my bottom bitch. No, if or, I sculpt you, you would it would possible that the ocular fluid fluid in your shut the f- up. Also, right. also, highly what's unlikely. The next fucking chat highly like unlikely. Dan, because if you're actually what's the next super chat, give it to me. The fact that Dan is worried. I don't care. The fact Just that Dan is worried about contracting HIV chat. from oral means you're not circumcised. That's another point against you being I Jewish. Will pull out my. F- That's another right point now. against you being Jewish. You don't know what you're talking. Dan, about. the can's on. You do it. Okay. Killer Car Wash for $49.99, you f***ing cheapskate, but we're going to read it anyway because it rounds up. Why is Dan built like the hunchback? What does that mean? I don't know. Like the hunchback of Notre Dame? Is it because I'm How many other hunchbacks do you over? know of? Wow. Good Thank one. For the I'm, sorry for, I'm sorry for f***ing clarifying. That's the my The hunchback bad. of Notre Dame? Uh. You're, you're like, Dan, you act like Vader. Dan's hey, like, you know what? Don't Vader! <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. That's what you sound like. Where, That's his, what you sound like. I want this face to post a photo of himself right now, unless he's jacked. Then don't post the photo. He's the model for the Giga Chad picture. He's That's not. He's making fun of he's me. He's right not. Now. You know what he is? He has no chin. This guy that shit talking me right I, now. I'm not going to show it on screen, but I don't know if this is his image or or not. Let, let's That's see. That's it. That's all I can get. He's fat. You got big cheeks, bro. I'll f- you up. Come at me right now. You can't see it on stream. Question for Dan. What's up, babe? Of all your life advice for Mm -hmm. Destiny, yeah, which has improved his life the most? If I had to say, it's hard for me to know because I don't know what he follows, but it's to not trust people that want things from him in general would be it. A lot of people in Destiny's life, it's, it's so hard. I understand it a little bit, not to his level, on the money side, I understand it, is that you meet people and then you instantly think that they want something from you as opposed to just being your friend. And you only know that they're your friend when they stick around without getting anything from you. So um, I think that's like the the big litmus test is keeping people in your life that get nothing in return from you. What so is this it? is from Real Serious. Thank okay, you for your donation. Ahead. We really what appreciate it? it. Dan, why yes. are you suddenly getting back in the limelight? Did the Mossad money run out? Also, totally random question. What do you guys think of Javier Millet? Okay, so the answer to that is I, I f***ed off because it got too hot. I left right around the Keffel shit because it was just crazy. It was like being in his f***ing orbit. I was just... Every day was f***ing another drama. And I was like, okay, this is like too much. I don't want it to affect like, you know, my business ventures or other shit. 
Um, that was kind of why I left. There was also some psychotic fuckers that were in DGG chat that I've since made peace with that were like being very unhinged. And I was just like, okay, you know what? It's not worth it. I'm just hanging out here with my friends. And it's like a psychotic, insane thing from like people on the left and people on the right. It's like either it's Nazis coming to kill you or lefties coming to cancel you. And it's, it's not worth it. I wasn't getting paid. Um, and I didn't care to get paid either. So I was like, I'll just leave for the time being. And I left. And then I chilled. I played Rust with my group. Um, I have a group of friends and, you know, we played Rust for that year. And, you know, I enjoy playing that game. And then Glenn the Golden One, some stupid f***ing sucker conspiracy f***ing retard, decided that he was going to do a thread saying that I was Destiny's CIA f***ing handler. And I just realized that there's no escaping this f***ing bullshit. So I said, fuck it. You know, at that point, you know, if, if I'm going to have these f***ing delusional retards out there doing all this crazy shit, I might as well have fun. Why am I going to let them keep me away from my friend? Right, Steve? BFFs forever right here? Come on. Yeah, bring it in there. So that's why I left. That's why I came back. I know why, guys. I, I gave you a lot of lies because I'm really sneaky. You know, I said I just wanted to play Russ and I didn't give a shit. But that's what you do when you don't want to draw attention to the issue at the hand. There was shit like uh, Evil Fossil and people like that. But all that's resolved now. So anyways, that's why I'm back. So I guess you can thank the psychotic conspiracy Hamas supporting terrorist Glenn the Golden One for bringing me back. So go give him a shout out. Hey Glenn, f*** you, sucker. Alright, good. Just wanted to get that one in there. What do you think? Let's do finance advice. Finance advice. Somebody that needs some financial help. Yeah, someone that needs Just drag in the next person. I don't care what the question was. They need to ask us a question about financial help. Okay, okay so ask your question. Go ahead. What, what's up? How you doing? Uh, I'm doing pretty well. Just Me wanted too. to call in. Yeah, you know? I, I saw that. Uh, it's funny that you were talking, uh, telling that story about that homeless guy who was... Uh, schizophrenic uh, a, a, yeah schizophrenic because that was me i just i just wanted to call in and thank you because i just uh uh hey, i is that guy shaped up and i i went to california to start a new life after that encounter with you and i just got clean and now i steal catalytic converters in you know in san francisco and and uh i make a good living now so thank you for doing that i'm just remembering that actual moment the yeah. guy like yeah. approached us <laughs> All of us pushed back at the table, pushed forward. No, it was good. It was fun. It was. I like that he was staring intently at me, and I wasn't sure if he was going to pull a knife on <laughs> me. He was definitely coming at you first. He was. You like more than anyone else. He was definitely yeah, like. I definitely could tell was. that I was the most important person at the table, so he knew no, he had to he, act you were the head. you were the weakest link. Oh no, I he absolutely. So could there was another. The there was another target. girl with us. Some unnamed woman, I'm sure. Number six hundred and fourteen. Wasn't it Melina? <laughs> Foldner six fourteen. Okay. Good one, Danny. Anyway, anyway, sorry. Okay. Oh, All right, so I, wow, I, wow, Adam Azran, that was now, an A plus. Thank you. Fuck meme. I, I I've think never that, heard such you. a funny meme in my entire life. It was like a. And I, just so you know, you didn't end it in a map. I'm glad you're cracking up. He didn't end it in a map. Kick him. Kick him. It wasn't a. It wasn't a question. Get him out of here. Question. Is there a possibility that I could ask the question that I actually wanted to talk about? Fine. What? What do you want to ask? Fringe. I'm sure. The efforts that we have towards a uh, resolution in Israel and Palestine is not oriented toward creating a uh, conducive. I'm sorry, Dan, but this is, this is the question I want to ask. It's mostly for, for Steven, but uh, I think that like, why I'm Jewish. Have, he doesn't know shit. He just read a few Wikipedia articles. I lived this experience as a Jew my whole life. He doesn't know anything. Ask okay. me your question. So you can have your opinion. I'd love to hear what you think about this, too. You're only so, going to get my opinion. Steven's not going to say anything. Nobody wants to hear you talk, Dan. Nobody. Ever. I'm an expert on Israel. You know what I <laughs> think of? You know what I think of when I hear you talk about politics, Dan? Tell me. I think, why not 7 million? Or 5 million, 999. No. <laughs> A few more, and I would have never... Had to deal with your ass That's in real not true. life. Okay. That's not true. Go. Okay. Cool. Caller, what was your question? How do you solve peace in the Middle East? Okay. Um, Get rid of the so Jews. My, my question is that I that's think that Stephen's there is a lot of uh, debate that's kind of like adversarial debate 
um, that's focused on like specific details of how history played out. And I, I find that these debates tend to be really unproductive. And I, I imagine that you feel the same way having gone through a lot of them. I don't feel like you feel like you've made a lot of progress. Um, what do you think can be done to create more conversations around um, de-radicalization uh, as opposed to kind of litigating these historical events where both sides generally don't really care what the other side thinks about their perception of the historical events? And uh, there, there seems to be very little de-radicalization conversations going on. And I'm wondering if you think that there's any possibility to get more focus on that. What did this guy just say? I've like easy answer. I've like drank easy answer. Way too much. What to you be- need is a one-on-one debate steel cage match where you have three judges and one physical enforcer. Okay, so two judges are to be picked one by each side. You get to nominate your own judge, and then those two judges pick a third judge. And then what you have is a one-on-one debate. And if you feel like the opponent is not answering or dealing with your question in good faith, you appeal to the judges and they make a ruling on it. A two-thirds ruling means that they approve your request saying that the opponent's not answering the questions. They get one warning. And then after that, the physical enforcer comes into the ring and punches the person in progressively worse spots. And then you have a debate like that where the people have to answer in good faith back and forth. And then if that works, that's the only way to solve the problem. But until then, nothing's going to happen. There you go. I feel oh, like that's off. just a no. different... Dan? Steven, can I ask you seriously, though? No! You've asked too many questions already. What are you asking already? seriously? Wait, what? What? Well, I feel like you didn't really give me a serious response. So there I think no, that, like, someone like... How do you get people to have an honest fucking debate? This debate has nothing to do with the facts. There are huge narratives on both sides that are required for both people to believe in in order to believe that particular narrative. To say, oh, how can no, I just I debate agree. a Palestinian out of the history of their country? It's like asking a religious person... No, 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 person- I'm not asking how we can debate them out of the, the history. What, what I'm curious about is I think that someone like Asshole represents uh, a Palestinian who is you know, emotionally invested in it, but also really good faith and honestly is talking about what he believes and honestly wants to see peace. I think that he's like actually a really good example of what we want to be working towards. But I feel like a lot of the conversations and a lot of the debates um, aren't about fostering that kind of. Yeah, because most people don't give a f- They're here for other reasons. They're, do they so make money like on the answers, conflict? Like they talk no about it. And it's like their thing. And Okay. It sucks, but I mean, like, that's the case. Most people, professional commentators get paid because they've dug into a certain position and they've got an audience that likes to hear that position. Like, that's it. You're not going to find, like, good faith conversation amongst those people. I'm the only one. Only me. I didn't give any point idea. We Wolfgang waiting. I mean... No, fuck Wolfgang. No, bring in Wolfgang. No, I Bring in Wolfgang. Yes. G- Jesus Christ, God, yes, I'll I need Wolfgang. I'll talk to Wolfgang's mom, but not to Wolfgang. No, I need Wolfgang. Thank God. Yes. Where's Populous What's up, meat guys? Or What's up, Wolfgang? Pains? What do you got for us? Well, uh, are we still doing economic questions or are we doing any questions? No, whatever you wanted to talk about. Gotcha. Okay. As somebody who's a huge fan of this possible show, this is episode zero, okay? Oh, I'm kind of worried. Time. That's right. Mind. Dan, listen, I hear that you have a lot of contention with young DGGers that don't know you. And I want to know what you get out of antagonizing these young viewers, okay? That could be possibly donating you money. I don't understand the attitude here, okay? These people are young. And they're excited to get to know you. And they don't know anything about you. Yeah, Why do you it's because they haven't been here for the last year. And um, oh, I, just don't, I just don't give a shit. You don't give uh, a shit? Oh, it's, because Dan, it's because Dan is a traitor. If you want to know more about Dan and his people, just <laughs> Google. You need to Google. It's called Jewish Stab in the Back. And that'll let you know. Okay, <laughs> it'll let you know about what these types of people are like. And then you'll, yeah, go ahead, Wikipedia. Get, kick him out. Jay, take him out. No, Jay, don't Jay, get Jay, me Jay, out. You're not Jay, drag him out. Okay. What? What are three flirting tricks for all? Three flirting techniques for beginners. All girls love. No. Thank God. Yes, red pill stuff. Yeah, throw it up on the screen. Let's go. This one isn't on my list, Dan. Can you send it to me? Um. Wait. Hold on. Is there? I don't know if I want to. This. This is like a whole fucking video. Oh no. Never mind. Don't do it. Um. We have the Jordan Peterson. We have the the Hassan stuff. Hassan stuff. Definitely oh my loves God. Hassan. I love More Hassan, Hassan too. coverage. Everywhere I go, yes. they're obsessed with him. All right, you got pull it up on look look right there. Look, I've read. Didn't I read all of this? Yeah, but now you're gonna read it live. I read it on anything else. Oh wait, he's Jessica says that video was two minutes long. You said it's a whole ass video. You know what Jessica stands for? What? 
Jew stalker 9000 because he's killed six Jews <laughs> in year 9000. What? You wouldn't get it. It's fine. Okay. It's yeah. Very, now it, let's not do the hilarious playing with fire Alex video, which I'm sure would be many memes. Let's read these Hassan logs for the 50th time. <laughs> yes. That's IDK, what I want to do. This was a space to convert normies to our politics and people who could enjoy shit. And many of you became like weirdos who don't see that as an important part of the project because you associate leftism with being an annoying douchebag who hates fun. I hate how much people literally despise any kind of fun content. We killed all the normies. Everyone is like brain broken and only wants politics. I hate what my community is becoming. Bro, what the fuck is this how discord? What do you think about this, Dan? Talk to me about these logs. I think Hassan is frustrated because yeah. he's in a situation where he's trying to do fun content that he enjoys and he's getting pushed back from a community that he thought was on his side, but is pushing back against him because it's not something politically related. And it's, you know, annoying. He thought he built a community that wasn't just specifically based around politics, but it was based around him and what he did. And he's frustrated. And I think that's a fair thing to be frustrated about. I concur. Yeah. Let's load up the Playing With Fire video. Go. All right, let's do it. Let's hear Destiny being a cuck. Let's hear the Playing With Fire video. Link the Playing With Fire Link video. it to him. Do I have it? Yeah. I don't have it. I don't have it. I have Jordan Peterson and other shit. Send it to him. I don't have it. What are you talking about? Where are you about? getting this from then? Getting what from? Oh, never mind. Okay, we don't have it. Well, anything Who, else? Who's... <laughs> Cute. That's, <laughs> name that's, of the show, uh, name drop. Oh my God. No, it's not till the end of the show though. Yeah, which is where, what time, where we're at. Are we at the end? I feel Overwhelming like, majority oh. of US-based Middle East scholars say- Okay, what it, look at his son. He's like in the dark. Go ahead, press play in full screen. Why are we watching more Hassan shit? I love Hassan. Oh. Damn it, Dan, get your shit together. Why? Since the Israel and Mosque war began on October 7th. By the way, there's also another, there's also a secondary part of this too. Like there are plenty of fucking progressives who have literally just lost their minds on this and think I've lost my mind as a consequence mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. Like it make no mistake. I've been hemorrhaging both viewership and, and followers since October 7th, nonstop. There are plenty of people who are just straight up. Like I'm so progressive. I'm the most progressive person except for Palestine. When, when it comes to. Palestine, I think you're crazy. The fact that you are like saying things such as Palestinians deserve emancipation is just fucking unacceptable. Wow. What do you guess they that? are still He's still going. Okay, I sent you a better clip. There we I, go. I, there I, we go. Finally. Oh my flirting. God, we know her. What's up, guys? We're here with Lauren De Laguna. In this video, we're going to reveal three flirting tips that are guaranteed to work with any girl. Did flirting you know? technique number Hold one. On. You can purposely yeah, misinterpret yeah, what yeah, the girl is saying to make it happen. Oh my God, we actually have content. This guy definitely looks like someone that's going to be in a mugshot. That was Dan's comment, not mine. That's conversation more playful, flirty, or sexual. So it would go something like this. Hey, how's your day? It was pretty good, but I was so busy all day. I had a rush to come here. Slow down. You don't want to come too fast now. <laughs> or, so, what are you doing later? Ugh, I'm so exhausted. I want to go straight to bed. Wow, you're forward. Want to take me straight to bed. God, I'm just not that kind of guy, Lauren. <laughs> Everyone here has See? looks, but nothing else. Oh, thanks. You think I'm hot. I appreciate that. I didn't say that. Learning technique number two, playfully teasing the girl. An example of this might be something like, hey, that's a nice dress. Thank you so much. I do love this dress, but I'm worried my ass looks a little fat. Yeah, when you were backing up into the couch, I just heard beep, beep. You got to put one of those stickers on it that says wide load. <laughs> Alex. See? <laughs> Lauren. Example number two. So what do you do for work? Right now, I'm like an influencer. Oh, cool. You influence a bunch of old dudes to jerk off to you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <Pause> what do you think about <laughs> that one? Pause it. This is the most cringe shit. What do you mean? I've ever oh, you don't think seen? that would work? This is so fing. You're just cringe. out of touch. You haven't been in the dating game, Dan. Dude, I, if I was in the dating game. <laughs> can we get a uh, can we get a YouTube video on public diction soon? Like in? <laughs> okay, play it out. Let's go. Let's see the real life example of playful teasing. Well, I couldn't hear it out because you were too busy talking over it. Can you rewind like 30 seconds? Thank you. Yeah, go. Thanks, Dan. You influence Thanks, a bunch Jay. of old dudes to jerk off to you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's so cute. Is it he or she? 
It's actually he's gender neutral. <laughs> he uh, he doesn't okay. identify as either man or woman. He okay, identifies as dog. a dog. So <laughs> if you could just be respectful of him, of please. Course, no, of course. Ordering technique number three, playfully over-exaggerating what the girl is saying. An example of this might be something like, hey, how's your trip over here? The drive was fine, but once I found parking, the walk was so long, my feet are literally killing me. Wow, you almost got killed. Let me call 911. You want me to put some first aid on those bunions? Yes, please. I really need it. <laughs> or another example might be something like, hey, it's good to meet you finally. Yeah, it's nice to meet you too, Alex. Sorry for being a bit late. Yeah, I thought I was going to honestly die of old age waiting for you to get here. <laughs> How long was it? It was long and hard. <laughs> Why didn't you date Wait, Lauren? what about that she one date you had where you made fun what? of my dog? Stop! I, I would okay, date Lauren. Okay, hack this video. Go to the next, go I to would, the next topic. You know what? Lauren? We're not doing this. You go seem to the cool. next topic. I would totally date nope. you if I wasn't married. I'm sorry. You're my type. You're missing out. What, what was it that you didn't like in Lauren? Go to the next one. Go to the next thing. Nope, we're done with this video. Dan destroyed it. She's cute. She's smart. She's funny. She's quick. You just, I don't, I don't know. I'm missing it. There's something I'm not seeing. I don't know. <laughs> Let's talk about Putin. Oh, hi. Oh my God. It's a woman. Oh, nice. Good meme. Oh Dan. my Good God. Job. Destiny nice. loves women. Are you close to Miami? Wow. Stop. Absolutely What's your, what do you want? Can you hear us? Steven wants to know what uh, you're Shut up. Yes. She's listening to the fucking stream. Oh, sorry. Don't listen to the... I feel like we're hi. on the radio. Hi, hi, hi. Turn off your radio, please. Hi. Hi. Okay, hi. what's your question? How are you doing? How are you feeling? I'm okay. I was just... <laughs> I was just on the channel having a very, very mellow discussion about uh, beliefs about Zionism. Hold on. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. You were on the you were on the channel. You sound Israeli. I am. Oh, oh God. You know what you, that means? No, by shut default. up. By Dan, I'm avoiding these memes. No. I don't do these memes anymore. How you doing? You doing good? You having a good? <laughs> it's 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 kind of late over there in Israel tonight. No. She's Israeli. It doesn't uh, mean she I lives mean, in Israel right now. You in Israel no, right now? I'm, I'm actually. She's no, in I live in Germany. I've actually spoken I can to tell, Destiny I can hear before. It. And okay. it was also unexpected. I actually never expected to go on stream. I thought it would. Uh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. That's okay. It's okay. great to have you here. What what, <laughs> what do you want to talk about? So I want to talk about the way to actually change people's values uh -huh. and opinions and beliefs. And I've been on the on the server for a while now, and I've had. I know that <laughs> a lot of people do debates. And I yeah. honestly don't think that debating is the way to change people's minds and hearts. Yeah. Okay. And, and I'll tell you why. Because ever since I went, uh, I started being on the server, Louder. I've had discussions, okay, where if you actually ask people, why do you believe the, the way you do? Mm -hmm. What needs to happen for you to change your mind? A lot of the times, it's not about people not being informed or not knowing the facts. I mean, Destiny has been having the, the debates about Oslo, what really happened in Oslo. It doesn't matter what really happened in Oslo. It matters what people think happened in Oslo. Correct? That is true. Public perception is more important than actual facts with a lot of this shit. Very That's why deep. you have a lot of... Did you say it doesn't matter what happens in Oslo? She did I'm say saying... that. No, I'm saying... You don't have an excuse for this, by the way. Excuse for what? I've been drinking. You barely touched I just couldn't hear what anything. she was saying. Sorry. Did she say in Oslo or in Auschwitz? I hope she didn't say in Auschwitz. <laughs> well, there's probably no, more disagreements about what happened in Auschwitz than Oslo. I don't know very many Oslo deniers. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? Actually, I do. Norwegians? I'm not sure they exist. Have you met one in real life? A Norwegian? Yes, actually. I've been you, to Norwegian. Someone that, not you. Oh my God. Steve, you could The joke be, is that Finnish people don't exist. Not Norwegian. Canute is Norwegian, you, you fucking moron. You know Finnish people? Just real quick. I'm sorry. We're going to get back to your conversation in a second. What? But you know Finnish people sound like cats. Okay. Uh, everything is like a, a sk at the end. I, I, I don't know. I bet... I, Okay, continue, German-Israeli caller. You were in the middle of uh, giving us a 
breakdown on how to change people's minds, okay? Lycan is getting me sauced up, and you're not even fucking drinking, and I it's not have fair. I drive later. Where do you- I wanna go visit your mom and fuck her. Sorry, my I'm so sorry. My Get mom wants Germans. nothing to do with you. Okay. Tell us about Oslo. Okay, I don't- uh, Personally, I don't really care about Oslo. To be me honest neither. with you. Okay. Uh, I, at this point, of course you wouldn't. <laughs> okay. The, the point is this, it doesn't matter what, I mean, of course there is objective reality, what uh, Arafat was really thinking and feeling. It doesn't matter for now, in my opinion. Okay. Yeah. What matters is the perception of the history, the perception of the present and the perception of the future. And I think, yes, I want to know how to influence <laughs> the side chat. Yes. I want to know how to influence because I Drink want to this. do good in the world, okay? I don't think we can do good in the world by debating. You cannot debate away this conflict. Okay, like, maybe what if there's just like, like a whole bunch of things we can do and debate is one of those things? Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. I mean, debate has been, uh, listening to the stream and your debates uh, have been very informative to me and I definitely learned a lot of history. Can I ask <laughs> you, do you think... We don't really do you think that mm. that Stephen here is Israel's strongest Shut up. internet soldier? You're so cringe. Do you think Dan is actually Jewish? I know that he is. You know why? It's the vibe that I give. Oh no! Yeah. Wait, how do you know that he is? Don't tell him. Don't do not. Tell how do you him. know that he is? Do not tell him because that's our secret. Wait, wait. You can say it, but you don't have to say if it'll no, compromise. No, no. Do wait, not wait, say. So you don't, don't say if it'll compromise don't say, Dan's marriage. No, don't say anything. Okay. Don't say anything. Okay. We we'll can't let the Goyim Dan. know. Yeah. Keep the family he is together. a goyim. Keep the family He's not allowed to know. We got it. Don't worry about it. I would rather not say. Yeah. Uh, actually, you know what, uh, Dan? I actually have criticism for you. Okay. I'll take it. Okay. I love criticism. Okay. In, unless it's okay. negative, then I hate it. Go ahead. It's going to be negative. It's what is a negative. positive criticism? God, your dick is <laughs> too big. Constructive criticism. <laughs> Never go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Give me the give me the negative criticism. Life. That's fine. I'll take it. Criticize okay. Go ahead. So go the criticize time, me. So the first time I listened to Dan was after uh, Axhole was on stream. Ooh. After an asshole was on stream. Axhole. Okay. You can axhole. Just, yeah. asshole axhole. So I actually I actually had uh, conversations with Axhole before. I know mm -hmm. his uh, positions. I yeah. don't necessarily agree with everything that he says, but I really respect him because he's actually open to listening to other people's perspectives. Okay, I went and really I hard on this guy. Him, I, I don't disagree. Yeah, you I, did. I, I, I basically demolished this dude without even knowing him, and that's... I feel a little Demolished bit is debatable. I mean, demolished is uh, <laughs> the, the actual consequences of it. Of it. To, to me, you, uh, you completely... Okay, I don't care about what you said about Axel. Okay, okay. what I, I care about my criticism is what you said. You said something like uh, uh, pro-Palestine people are. It's not good that this is the only representation of pro-Palestine people. They really should be doing a better job in in uh, defending their positions. Blah 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 blah. And you were basically gatekeeping a pro-Palestine um advocates okay and i think this does a very big disservice because why would pro-palestinian people feel uh, welcomed to share their perspective with, with on stream at all if you are doing this gatekeeping thing Ooh. and i actually think okay and i actually think that we there are actually not enough pa actual palestinians on the server mm -hmm. there are not enough muslim people on the server and i have friends on discord that are Arabs, that are Muslim, that are Palestinians, that, that they're even, uh, I mean, you know, Sev, he's an Israeli Palestinian. Okay, the discussions with him are extremely fruitful and helpful to understand the mindset of. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. Go ahead. It was going too long. Um, I don't think I was doing a disservice to the guy. I think that. There's a certain caliber of people in debate and skill and knowledge and intellect and quick wit that's required to be able to be on this stream. And there's a lot of people that for better or for worse are either friends or enemies of the stream and they all have it. And there's lots of people like that. There's Rem, 
there's mind waves, there's all, I, I, I can't even name all these people, but every single one of them can compete and at least speak in the arena. And this guy can't do it. And that's why he loses in the arena of what this is, is that if you're gonna come in here and represent um, the Palestinian side of things, you need to be, um, you need to be quick on your feet you need to be knowledgeable, you need to be fast, and then appropriately, I think you need to be somewhat charismatic as well to get your point across. And I think this guy had literally none of it. So that's why I stand by my point that he was doing a disservice to those people who are on that side of the cause. And boy, do I love okay, that. Okay, but your argument just that you made just now uh, mostly referred to, to the quality of the content of the street. And not to his actual government. Uh, because it doesn't matter. Um, All that matters is is the. So I think um, you don't really care about his arguments, or I don't. I don't. He's an Israeli he, Jew. Why would he care about a Palestinian? What he has to say? It's not. It's not I'm about that. It is about Jew. that. It's about. It's I'm about how much you get Jew. your point across. It's not about how right you are, how wrong you are. It's about how effective you are. All that matters in the end is how effective you are. And this guy was not effective. He was a weak debater. Yeah. Well, and Destiny was playing with him. Card. I was not playing like with him. Like a cat? He was not. I think this... Okay, you know what? I'm not going to talk for Destiny. Go ahead. Thanks. <laughs> thank you, Dan. Okay, well, hey, thank you. Um, for calling in and criticizing me. I want to... I want to... I want Bitch. to counter-argument, actually. That's fair. I want to a counter-argument, actually, about when, what Dan said. Okay? About okay. being affected in the street. Shocker. So wow. The you know, you know, this I is with Jewish speak. women. I've noticed this a lot is that they got a lot. They got a huge problem with me, but that's fine. Let's go ahead. You know, ugh. I mean, I all think the, all the anti-Semites out here could see this. They think we're all working matter. together. Can't stand these bitches. Listen, first time I went on stream, first time I went on stream was kind of like this, where I was not expecting to go on stream. It was the first time, literally first time I was open discord. Okay. I was yapping and rambling. I didn't make any fucking sense. I was talking about anti-Semitism, okay? And I could, I, I know what Destiny looks like when he's engaged in conversation, and you were not having it, <laughs> Destiny, okay? You Wait, were I, what happened? <laughs> She was just saying you weren't engaged, you dumb bitch. I heard. I was joking. I no, was you joke, weren't you joking. You didn't actually know. I did know. You didn't know. I knew exactly what she was saying. You do you want no me to repeat exactly idea. what she just said? No. Yes. That's okay. Yes, I she do. She said that the, the last just... time I was on stream, I was kind of like well, mumbling yeah, and I was yeah, tripping yeah, that, that was word. Easy. But I've seen Destiny when he's engaged in conversation. I could tell then he wasn't that engaged. Before That's that. That's what she said. Before that. Memory. She said, I want to give a counter argument to what Dan said. And then you were like, oh, I bet you do. And then you were like, well, I've got this thing where Jewish women don't like me. And then you whispered your that like, wasn't I before that. The there was another thing she said before this. that. She was another thing. You're she... lying. I've just recited every basic thing that you have. You've said. missed an integral so my point part. Is, sorry to interrupt you. My point is this. I was rambling. Side chat was hating on me. When the YouTube video came up, there was so much hate comments and I was living for it. Why? Because no matter how much I was rambling, there was discussion about what I said. Okay. There you and go. that's the most important thing. That's the most, so you can have the the uh, a super weak debater. I'm not saying that's what Ax, that's what Axhole is. Okay, I'm just saying <laughs> you can have a very weak debater who would just ramble on and on, and it would still be productive because it makes people think and talk. That's it. There you go, Dan. Well, thanks for coming by. I appreciate Ask it. Ask her for a name. What's your name? Her name is. Did a, she do that, or did Lycan do that, or did August do that? I think one of them. <laughs> one of them. <laughs> one of them did that. Wow. Okay. Okay. Listen, Jewish women and me. Dan. We don't get along. All right. Listen, I hope it was enjoyable, and I hope that August is able to come salvage. Up with, I need him to come up with a cool enough title that this gets like three hundred thousand views because that's above the average. Half that's my money. Wow.